Gising-kising, nasa lisihan tayo ng magdanakaw. Di mo na isarado ng maayos ang pinto. Hala, ano pong nangyari? May dumating na magdanakaw. Natangay ang iba nating mga gamit. Sorry yate, hindi ko po ito inaasahan. Natulog lang ako at hindi ko naman po alam na may darating na magnanakaw. Di naman talaga nagpapaalam ang mga magnanakaw kung kailan sila darating. Kaya kailangan lagi tayong handa at mapagmasid. Morning kids, Teacher Den here and I will be teaching you about the story of the Watchful Servant. So Teacher Den, what is the meaning of a Watchful Servant? So a Watchful Servant kids is someone who eagerly waits and hopes for the return of his master. No matter how long and how burdensome the waiting may be. So before I proceed with the lesson kids, Let's pray, shall we? Oh, everybody, close your eyes and let's bow our heads. Okay, are you are your eyes closed? Are your heads all bowed down? Okay, let's pray. Oh, heavenly Father, we thank you, dear God, for this time again, dear God, to learn about your word. I pray, dear God, that you take good care of these children, Panginoon, and I pray, dear God, that. If some of them haven't accepted you, dear God, as their Lord and Savior, may you reveal yourself to them, dear God, by the by the proclamation of your word, dear God, today. And, dear God, uh, keep us safe in this pandemic po, Panginoon. Comfort us, give us peace, and show us your love, Panginoon, because we really need this in this time of need po talaga, Panginoon. And as we... Study your word. May your name be glorified, Lord Jesus. And through this and all of this, dear God, we pray in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. So, that's it. <laughs> Let's start. So, alright. How are you? How are you, kids? I hope you guys are ready for our lesson. Don't worry. It will not take long. So, do you have your Bibles with you? Really? So, do you have them in your hand? It's okay if it's not with you. I think I will broadcast the words in the screen. So, all together, I want you guys to go to the book of Luke. The book of Luke. Go to Luke 12, 35 to 40. Luke 12, 35. I have my Bible with me, so I will be joining you in reading. So, Luke. 12 35 to 40 so tell me if you guys are there are you guys there so okay go to Luke 12 35 to 40 so here we will read first and then piece by piece we will try to understand God's word all right let's start so Luke 12 35 to 40 let your loins be girded about so this means let be 
be ready, and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord or Master, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching verily. I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet. So, nakain po kayo in sa feast. And will come forth and serve them. So, it is our privilege that the Lord will serve for us. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them, so, bless are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what are the thief would come and he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Lastly, be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. So that is the verse. So one of the hardest things to do in this life, kids, besides studying, besides studying is actually waiting. So waiting, don't you agree, kids? It's really hard sometimes to wait, especially when you're at home, especially if your mom and dad is taking a long time from work maybe, and you are eagerly, eagerly waiting for their arrival because you are expecting something. Maybe you are expecting their pasalubong or their presence alone because you miss them oh so much. But what can we learn from this story, kids? Example, we are waiting for someone. They can be our friend. Our loved ones, what is our assurance and hope that they will return? Hmm. What do you think, kids? What is our assurance that they will return? Hmm. Let me think. Yes, our assurance and hope is that they told us they will come back. That's why we never stop on hoping and waiting for their return. So this is the lesson of the story in which the Lord expects us, his children, to patiently wait for his return. So teacher then, question, okay? How can we be certain that the Lord will come back? So let's go back on verse 40. Can you see? This is the Lord Jesus Christ's words. He said, Be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not, in which he assures us that he will return when we least expect it. So, as we study the scripture and learn and learn more about the Lord Jesus Christ, God's promises towards us, we are strengthened and encouraged because first of all, his promises, God's promises and words are all true. Don't you think, kids? And eventually came to be an example to is to his people, diba? the Israelites. The Israelites awaited their Messiah. Messiah is king, which is in the form of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are hoping for their king and savior throughout history for their salvation from their enemies. Little did they know, little did they know that he already came in the form of a humble servant. But, but, but yun nga, hindi, hindi, hindi tinanggap ng mga Israelita yung Panginoon kasi nga they are expecting a king who is powerful, mighty, and one who will defend them. But he must first be a servant towards his people. Though this humble servant, they have bitten, di ba? binugbog, spit on, and ridiculed even unto his death. But Christ by God's grace, fulfill the purpose of the Father by dying in the cross for us, dying in the cross, resurrecting, and finally ascending on the right hand of God for us who desperately need salvation because of our sins that separates us from God, kids. So, this is the problem of humanity nowadays in which we don't even know, sadly, we don't even know that we are in dire need of a Savior because of our sins. We have been cut off, cut off, tanggal ang relasyon from the Father because, and because God is a holy God 
and he cannot tolerate sin. That's why God sent his only begotten son, and that is, that is kids, Jesus, to stand as our mediator, sin bearer, righteous sacrifice offered to those who believe, and best of all kids, it is free. These things God prophesied and also accomplished. Now in this story, let's return. Jesus is telling his disciples that he will return in time and no one knows but the Father when. But we as God's children must hold on to these words because our God is true to his words and never go back on them no matter what. So, teacher then, question again. <laughs> How can this be applicable in our daily life as believers and as children of God? Children of God. Okay, kids, to be honest, one of the things that really tested my faith in this pandemic was my patience. So, patient in, patience in a lot of things. And usually, we as normal human beings tend to get frustrated. That happens when, whenever we don't get what we want as soon as possible this is true in many cases i think this is also true also with you but the lord jesus christ said kids in his words and honestly assures and expects us to be always ready just like in verse 35 and 36 35 and 36 let your loins be girded so the lord said that let be ready and your lights burning and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So that when he comes back, we wouldn't be shocked like, Hello, what's happening? Huh? What's happening? I don't even know what's happening. No, no, no. It wouldn't be like that. But we are ready just like when there is a new typhoon in the news or a new vaccine for covid these are examples of being ready for our own benefit but then again kids we don't know when when the lord will return but we can be ready and expect his return because in his return the lord jesus christ speaks also of a feast and also his return is also for our own benefit so the Lord Jesus Christ speaks of a feast with us who doesn't who doesn't love feast, right? So and the feast is with our Savior Himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us not be discouraged, dear children. Yes, it has been two thousand years and counting, and the Lord ha still hasn't come back. <laughs> but always remember that God, as we as we study the Scripture. Throughout scripture, God is true to his words. God is true to his promises, to the prophecies. He fulfills them and eventually we will see this firsthand, his return. We will be with him someday and eternally. So that is all kids. Thank you for listening and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Bye. Hello kids, teacher Alec here. Those I have written the volumes at a memory verse. So kids, a memory verse not for today. I am not in Quran. It's the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 40. And it says, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh an hour when you think not. Again, kids, Luke chapter 12, verse 40. It says, Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh an hour when you think not. Alright, children, we know you can memorize these verses by God's grace. May God bless you all, and see you again next Sunday. Have a blessed week. Bye bye.
bakit di ka pa natutulog? Ay, nagbabantay po ako. Sinecheck ko lang pong mabuti kung nakasara ng maayos ang pinto at baka bigla na namang dumating ang magnanakaw. Aba, maganda yan. Kailangan natin palaging maging handa tulad ng ating paghihintay sa muling pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. Di natin alam kung kailan babalik si Jesus. Paano po ba tayo dapat maabutan ni Jesus sa kanyang pagbabalik? Dapat maabutan tayo naglilingkod ng matapat sa kanya at hindi tayo patulog-tulog sa ating buhay kristyano. Salamat sa iyong paalala ate. Muli namin kayong inaanyayahan sa darating na linggo para sa panibago nating parable. Hanggang, Hanggang sa, sa muli! Bye! If you are interested in helping with the children's ministry, you may contact Sister Grace Calamasa or Brother William Lyron. You may volunteer as a singer, instrumentalist, storyteller, scriptwriter, visual aid illustrator, memory verse teacher, video and sound editor. If you have questions about Jesus, please message us here on Facebook. And if you have come to a decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, let us know so we can pray for you. Thank you for watching and God bless you.